a crime of television was committed this week. The culprit, <laughs> Sex and the City star Kristen Davis. The crime being an upper self Hollywood type who refused to appreciate our knockabout Aussie sense of humour. <laughs> the victim, bright and breezy breakfast television. <laughs> For the prosecution, brunch television's Ita Buttros. Kristen mightn't have liked the, liked the segment, but what's happened to her sense of humour? She's clearly left it in New York. Ah, uh, the prosecution rests. The evidence <laughs> speaks for itself, ladies and gentlemen. Mrs Davis came to Australia to raise awareness for refugee charity UNHCR. There's 60 million displaced people in the world. So the UNHCR is there for refugees. They are the front line. They are yeah. not a political party. They're a humanitarian aid. You really want to help them. Love yeah. your passion. Um, I love your passion. F Oh, yeah, look, we all love her passion, but, you know, after a, a whole three minutes of yap, yap, yap about refugees, Koshi had heard enough. Children can understand that and children have a pure heart. They, they relate to it. Yep. Yeah. All know? right, get on well, the sex on the okay. city. Ah! <laughs> no, no, thank you, Koshi. This is breakfast TV. We want it light. We want it breezy. And even though Sex and the City finished 12 years ago, there is one question we've been dying for Koshi to ask. Are you like Charlotte in real life, or are I you more like one of the other characters? Oh gosh! In real life, I'm a little bit Carrie, but a lot oh. Charlotte. Right. I knew it. I knew it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ask her some more, Koshi. We've got three and a half hours to fill and she is loving this. <laughs> Were you shocked a bit at some of the things you had to talk about? Sure, yeah, because and I was, was really hoping you're not going to bring naughty. them up. Please don't bring them naughty up. Please, I'm no. begging you not We're to bring them up. No. <laughs> no. 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 It's no. Who's the oldest out of the four ladies? Oh, come on. I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> no, in real, in real, in real life. life. Koshi, you know you never, you know you never ask a lady her age. You go and look it up on the internet like everyone else. <laughs> now maybe it's me, and at the risk of sounding like someone who's been watching this interview, <laughs> I don't think she's enjoying herself. <laughs> but you know, seeing she's an actress, right? She's an actress. Maybe she'd like to do some actressing instead. I don't know how this is going to go because we're not. Very okay, good come on, You're let's recreate it. Come with us, Kristen. Oh, you Come guys, over here in... I uh, <laughs> don't know what is happening. Okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is Miranda. You guys really cracked you me up. I down never would have guessed. <laughs> you guys, so seriously? Ready? Hang on, really hang on, I've got to be have carried. lost your mind. <laughs> Directed by Koshi, this <laughs> is <laughs> Sex and the Jessica's City. Sarah Jessica's not going to be Scene happy about one, this. Scene one, take one. Action! <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what, this is... This is actually worse than I remembered. This is... <laughs> Please, roll on. Burger broke up with me on a post-it note. <gasps> on a post-it note? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Here, read it and weep, my friends. I'm sorry, I can't. Don't hate me. <sighs> First of all, I thought you were going to break up with him. Yes, I was <laughs> and I should have. But he said he wanted to try and work things out. <laughs> Forget the UNHCR, someone call Amnesty. <laughs> They're torturing a hostage. What did you think of it? Uh, I don't know that this is a great idea, frankly. <laughs> no? No offence, <laughs> but, you know... I can't... That is the face of non-consensual sketch. <laughs> and you know what else? You know what else? No, 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 <laughs> means no. <laughs> Brunch television's Ida Buttrose accused Kristen Davis of leaving her sense of humour in New York. She didn't leave it in New York. It was smothered to death with the cushions of the sunrise couch. <laughs> but let's spare a thought for the real victim in all of this, Professor Joe Hildebrand. I'm just so sick of celebrities who take themselves seriously mm. and say, you know, we'll do anything, we'll, we'll do absolutely anything. I'll do anything to use my profile to spread awareness and raise money for refugees, except take the piss out of myself. Yeah. Yeah, cos that's the real crime, Joe. All those celebrities who've hurt you by not making dicks of themselves to help their causes. Oh, it was awful. George Clooney fronted a Senate inquiry to raise awareness about genocide in Sudan. But he refused to dress as a rabbit and stick a carrot up his ass. <laughs> so clearly, while Kristen Davis is not guilty, I sure hope those responsible for this crime are brought to justice. 
Sunrise also partnered with the UNHCR in promoting a fundraising event in Kristen's honour being held today. Now, I was asked to MC that event and conduct a Q&A. Now, since our interview yesterday and that skit, organisers have asked Sam not to host the event now or to attend it at all. That was unexpected. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was unexpected. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you watched it. <laughs> i tell you what was unexpected was that a human being could sit there with such dignity and poise while all of that was happening around her. That is so Charlotte. <laughs>